IBM Cognos Dynamic Cubes, also known as In-Memory, Relational Online Analytical Processing, or ROLAP, provides improved performance for dimensional style reporting over relational data. It does this by pre-caching metadata and using both in-memory and database aggregates. What sets it apart is how the in-memory aggregates can be easily updated and tailored to improve performance for specific business needs all without remodeling. You get minimal disruption to your business and simplified maintenance. This demonstration will showcase the optimization tool that analyzes both the model and the workload and provides aggregate recommendations in an easy to use workflow. Let's assume you have already designed and published your dynamic cubes that you sourced from your relational data warehouse. The cubes will appear in the web-based IBM Cognos Business Intelligence Administration Console, where the cube can be started or loaded into memory and where you can monitor various cube metrics. In this example, you'll notice that there are a couple of reports created against this cube, but that there are no in-memory aggregates defined yet. Start by minimizing the browser and launching the Dynamic Query Analyzer tool. This tool is typically used to analyze queries for optimization. It's launched using the Dynamic Query feature in the IBM Cognos Administration Console. Then launch the Aggregate Advisor. It prompts you to set some limits. This is largely dependent on the amount of data and your environment. But a good rule of thumb is that the database aggregate limit should be one-tenth the uncompressed size of your data. And the in-memory aggregates should be one-tenth the size of that. The longer the aggregate advisor runs, the more effective the recommendations will be. For this relatively small cube, we set low limits and a short 5-minute limit. Here's where it gets interesting. By selecting the checkbox at the top, you can analyze the workload logs of the cube as well as the model. We ask the aggregate advisor to recommend aggregates that will improve performance for a specific user, package, or report. For this demonstration, we'll select the reports that we created against this cube. Next, we run the Aggregate Advisor. This graph shows the progress over time, with the slope of the line representing the effectiveness of its findings. Typically, you'd see a slow slope for a period of time as the analysis progresses, followed by a sharp spike to indicate that a useful aggregate has been found. For a cube of this size, the analysis finishes within a minute, and we can see the results. Two in-database aggregate recommendations and 23 in-memory aggregate recommendations. Notice the size is well below the limits we set. Then, view the detailed recommendations. The in-database recommendations can be sent to a database administrator for implementation but the in-memory aggregates can be instantly saved to the content store and attached to the data source. We then go back to the administration console to restart the cube. The metadata is then reloaded into memory and aggregates are computed and loaded into memory as well. As we refresh the cube metrics, you can see the progress of the load. As it continues to load, let's run those two reports that the aggregate advisor based its recommendations on. There are two interesting things to note here. First, notice that there is no remodeling required, simply a restart of the cube, and we can run the aggregate advisor multiple times against a different set of criteria and load a different set of aggregates simply by restarting. Secondly, see how this does not affect cube availability. The cube is available, even though all the aggregates are not yet loaded. When we go back to the admin screen after running these two reports, Notice that the in-memory aggregate cache hit rate is 100%. This is expected, since the aggregates were based off those reports. This tells you that the reports are using those in-memory aggregates and improving the performance of those reports. In this brief demonstration, you've seen how to use the Aggregate Advisor to create recommendations for both in-memory and database aggregations. While in this example we optimized two reports, we could have easily chosen a package, a user, different time periods, or some other combination. 
Learn more about how IBM Cognos Dynamic Cubes can help you implement in-memory aggregates easily, without remodeling or republishing, and without affecting cube availability.